Jagatpita Brahma Mandir or the Brahma Temple located in Pushkar, Rajasthan is the most famous Hindu temple dedicated to Lord Brahma who is considered the creator of the universe. Being the only temple dedicated to Brahma in India, it attracts lakhs of pilgrims every year. The small town of Pushkar seems holy because of the presence of Brahma temple. It also finds its mention in the prominent ten religious places of the world and the five sacred pilgrimages for Hindus in India. Originally built in the 14th century, the Brahma temple is believed to be 2000 years old. Initially constructed by the sage Vishwamitra, it went through renovation several times under Adi Shankara. Built from marble and enormous stone slabs, it houses the images of Lord Brahma along with his two wives, Gayatri and Savitri. The shrine is governed by sannyasi, ascetic, sect priesthood. The fact that Lord Brahma chose Pushkar to perform yajna makes this town sanctified. The holy Pushkar lake flowing right in front of the temple adds to its purity. The place has a different aura that soaks you in its holiness. The auspicious day of Karthik Purnima takes the spirituality to a next level. A visit to Brahma temple and a dip in the sacred Pushkar lake will surely absolve all your sins. To worship Lord Brahma, who is rarely found, is equivalent to attaining liberation and hence should be on your bucket list. It is believed that Lord Brahma wanted to perform Yajna peacefully and without any interruption of demons. He was searching for a serene place when the lotus flower in his hand fell in Pushkar. Therefore, he decided to perform his Yajna in Pushkar. Pushk means flower and Kar means hand. Unfortunately, Lord Brahma's wife, Savitri, was not present with him. So, he married Gayatri, a girl from Gurjar community, and completed all the rituals of the Yajna with her. When Savitri saw her husband married to another woman, she got infuriated and cursed Brahma that he would not be worshipped anywhere by his devotees but only in Pushkar. Therefore, Brahma Temple is the only temple dedicated to Lord Brahma. The Brahma Temple was originally built in the 14th century on the banks of Pushkar River. Perched on a raised platform, a series of marble steps lead you to the main temple. On the top of the main doorway, there is an image of Hans, the vehicle of Lord Brahma. The gate will lead you to the main hall which is also called as Mandapa and then, there is a Garbhagriha, a place where the deity resides. A beautiful turtle, made of marble can be seen with its face towards the Garbhagriha. The marble of the floor in black and white tiles is full of hundreds of silver coins offered by devotees to Lord Brahma. The walls are adorned with charming images of peacock and goddess Saraswati. There is also a silver door inside the temple that leads down to a small cave which comprises a temple of Lord Shiva. The image of Lord Brahma is called as Chamurti since it is foreheaded. The idol is sitting in a cross-legged position with four hands and four faces looking in four different directions. The four arms hold the Rakshamala or Rosary which represents time, the Pustaka or book representing knowledge, the Kurka or Kasha grass which represents the sacrifices necessary for sustenance and the Kamandalu or water pot representing waters from which the universe emerged. Lord Brahma's wives, Savitri sits on his right and Gayatri sits on the left side. There are three kinds of pujas that are held in the Brahma temple. First is Sandhyarti which is performed after the sunset. The second is Ratri Shainarti performed about five hours after sunset and the last is Mangalarti which is held in the morning two hours before Sunrise. The priests follow strict religious rules. 
married men are not allowed to enter the grabhadriha only the priests who are ascetics can perform the pujas therefore all the offerings of the devotees are taken by a priest from the main hall though there are not many festivals that are observed in the temple kartik purnima is considered as the most auspicious day on kartik purnima the full moon night of the hindu lunar month of kartik october november one of the india's most religious festival the pushkar fair is organized it is completely a magical experience for tourists the otherwise quaint town becomes alive with exciting activities during the 5 day long festival the devotees take a dip in the holy pushkar lake and special rites are performed at the brahma temple there is no entry fee the timings are 6:30 am to 8:30 pm during winter and 6 am to 9 pm during summer between 1:30 pm to 3 pm the temple is closed the ideal time to visit brahma temple is between october to march when the winter season arrives the temperature looms around 22 degrees celsius which is not too cold the weather remains pleasant the summers are sweltering with the mercury rising up to 45 degrees celsius in winters you will also get to witness the exuberant pushkar fair which is held in november on kartik purnima the brahma temple is located on brahma temple road in ganhera pushkar You can easily reach the temple by taxi or your car. Local buses are widely available. However, they are too crowded. If your hotel is nearby, consider walking as the best option.